What's going on, YouTubers? It's the Natural Born Thriller, and welcome everyone to WWE NXT Review, the show from September 18th, 2019. And this was the the week where WWE NXT was on the USA Network, and there was a lot of things that happened on on that on that week too, what pertains to NXT on um, being on USA, and also what pertains to uh, some issues that happened with the WWE Network, but I'll talk all about that once I get to it. They were at Full Sail University in Winter Park, Florida, where your commentators Mauro Bernaro, Beth Phoenix, and Nigel McGinnis. Now, what pertains to WWE uh, NXT, this was the first time ever that NXT will be doing a, a two-hour show. Wasn't um, intrigue uh, how they did it. Now the the show itself, I'll get to how how the show was too once once we, once I get to it. But but here's, here's now here's the thing what they did with this. Uh, WWE NXT from the first hour was on the USA Network. Unfortunately, the second hour of WWE NXT was on the WWE Network. And I'll get to that when I get to the second hour uh, segment of it. Uh, but let's get to the first hour of of how this whole started. There was a video package that opened up the show, which it was led by Triple H. And then once I saw Triple H there, I'm like, fuck you. Um, but it's basically a video package of NXT over the years. And and then Triple H uh said that we are NXT and let us know that you know you know like basically let us know that how yeah, he's gonna show us. He comes out, the crowds go nuts. Obviously, he was uh, in the in the career position. He was, he was in he was in the career position uh, as he was doing this. He comes out on stage, and they've seen the entire crowds. And at that, he at that at that he was gone. He we, we never saw him again. Basically, it was Triple H um, showing us why uh, that we are NXT, and the, you know the crowds were going nuts. They were enjoying this and all that. So, um, and Marvel Narva welcome us to, to Full State University, more chance to NXT. Um, uh, you know, also. You know, also joined by Nigel McGinnis, Beth Phoenix. So the opening match. Let's get to the opening match here. The opening match was the fatal four way to crown a new number one contender to face the NXT Women's Champion, Shayna Baszler. And your participants in the match were Io Shirai versus Mia Yim versus Bianca Belair versus Candice Ray. And right off the bat, folks, all four women in this match were great. They did their, their thing in this match. They dealt they drew well together. Io Shirai, Cancel Ray was going at it. Becca Belair and Mia Yim going at going at it. You know, basically we're pretending uh rehashing um rivalries between Mia Yim and Becca Belair. Uh rehashing rivalries between Io Shirai and Cancel Ray with their issues and everything. Uh Io Shirai at one point went after Bianca Belair. Uh Mia Yim at one point went after uh Cancel Ray. Bianca Belair at one point went after um uh Cancel Ray. Mia Yim at one point went after Io Shirai. Yeah, they you know, it, they were treating this they were treating this fail forward match like it like it like it like uh, it's every woman for themselves and it was all it was all about becoming the more contender. And they were fighting off that one prize to go after the NXT uh, women's championship uh in the future against Shannon Baszler, which I'll get to that later on. Um what pertains to that. Um yeah, these women were going, were going nuts on each other. Uh they they got everything that they they, they could get in, in this match, except for one thing what pertains to Becca Blair. And that's the hair whip. I, I I just wish she would have done the hair whip in this match. You know, where it to them be on the USA Network. I think it, it, it would have been amazing if she would have done that. I don't care who she did. I don't care who she would have done to. She, she, she's she got to do it to someone in, in, in this match. Especially when you're on on TV for the very first time. On USA, on USA Network. So, I don't know. Um, But, I digress. But it was, still, it, was still, it was still a great match, though, folks. Opening match was a great was a great match. In the end, now I expect this um, a Io Shirai to win the match here. I I I at least expect the Io Shirai to win here. Uh, but instead, Io Shirai was taken out of the match uh, along 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 with Bianca Belair. So it was basically up to Mia Yim and Cancer Ray. Um, also in Cancer Ray. Gets a poison rana onto Miriam, goes for her springboard moonsault onto Miriam, and Cancer Ray gets the win on Miriam. 
and uh, Cancer Ray is your winner and new number one contender against the NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler. She goes celebrate on stage and all of a sudden we get NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler coming out with Maria Zafir, Jessica Mendoke, and Duke and it's basically the surrounding Cancer Ray and Cancer Ray uh, was showing no fear. She was uh, basically, you know, staring on down on um, um, Shayna ba Baszler. And the match has been set up, folks, between Shayna Baszler, the, the defender of NXT Women's Championship against Cancer Ray in two weeks' time. But as of this recording, in one week's time, which is going to be next week's NXT show, it's going to be Shayna Baszler, defender of NXT Women's Championship against Cancer Ray. And I can't, I can't wait to see that match, folks. Just saying. Uh, we get a real package of NXT champion Adam Cole, baby. Um, and we see also the Unspeed Era. Um, and then we see the NXT North American champ. Um, championship uh championship thing with um the Velveteen Dream and Roger Strong we'll so the match we'll get to that later. <laughs> uh I'm, I'm sorry, I I I, I, I read it wrong my apologies. I meant to say Unspeed Error was backstage with Roger Strong where it pertains to um Roger Strong uh he's gonna be he's gonna become the NXT North American champion against the Velveteen Dream. That's what that's what I meant to say. Um but we'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> Um, we get a real package of Keith Lee versus Dominic Dijakovic, and their feud will continue um, this coming week on NXT on Wednesday, folks. Uh, basically, it's going to be another match between Keith Lee versus Dominic Dijakovic. I'm assuming that's going to be part of the USA Network uh, slot of it on, 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 you know, for the for the uh, for the first hour. Um, but again, I'll, I'll talk more about that. I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about that, about that later too. So. But anyways, so then Marvel Renaro reveals that it's gonna be a, a street fight between Matt Riddle versus Killian Dane, and we'll get to that later. Just saying, um, because that's gonna be on the second hour, which is gonna be on the the WWE Network. Um, Cameron Grimes versus Sean Maluna, and we go to the ring. Uh, Sean Manuel makes his entrance, and then Cameron Grimes get, makes his entrance. The bell rings. Um, Manuel goes after Grimes, but then Grimes immediately goes for his jumping foot stomp. One, two, three. Match was over already in about what? Uh, eight seconds, I guess. <laughs> hey, you know what? They're training uh, Cam Cameron Grimes as a, uh, a force to be reckoned with, and he's not he he's not here to play around. He's here to uh to make to make to make a name for himself. Unlike what Impact Wrestling did with him. Just saying. You know. But yeah, I, I like I like this. I like this that on Cameron Grimes got uh, a squash one here because Cameron Grimes, yo, uh, form, formerly known as Trevor Lee, he should have been treated better in Impact Wrestling, and NXT is doing is doing um doing a better job than what Impact Wrestling did. Yo, know, Robert tends to uh Trevor Lee, who's now. Cameron Grimes. Uh, we get a real package what pertains to the NXT North American Championship match between Roderick Strong and Velvet Dream. Basically, having that match, you know, pertains to the feud and everything. And then we, and then we see a, a video vignette of Damian Priest. And. Yeah, I, I like what they did here too. You know, basically, uh, let, let everyone know who these guys are. Like, like a Keith Lee, a Dominic Dijakovic, and a Damian Priest. Uh, the way they did it, I thought they did a good job with that. Now we get to the North American Championship talent match. Um, Roger, Roger Strong versus the uh, North American Champion, the Velveteen Dream. And this match was, was pretty damn good, folks. Um, despite, you know, the Velveteen Dream, the, the way he was acting and everything. But despite that, I enjoyed this match for what it was. It was a great match. Just... Obviously, Roger Strong carried the match, but not, not, I'm not saying that uh, the, the Velveteen Dream didn't do his thing. He did his thing too, but I feel like Roger Strong carried the match more than the Velveteen Dream did. So, as it's all going on, um, you know, 
Unspear Error came out there, which I expected. And um, it looked like the the Voltage Dream was going to lose here, but Roger Strong, oh uh, wait, 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 with the um in the, the heartache, but Voltage Dream kicks out, kicks out of it and everything. Uh, basically, the Unspear Error did everything they can to uh, make sure that the Voltage Dream loses here. So Voltage, Voltage Dream did fight off the Unspear Error. Um, look like he was going to win here. And also, and uh, referee gets distracted. Oh, right, oh, right. It, was, it was also a referee bump. That's what also made it great too. There was a referee bump in, in, involved uh, of it as well, where the unspeed error was was, uh, was trying to get involved, was trying to get, uh, trying to be a, a huge factor in this in this one as well. Um, so, um, but like I said, Velvet Dream fought from all, all off until the end. Velvet Dream tried to go for his purple rainmaker. Also, um, Alan Cole with a super kick to Velvet Dream, causing him to fall off the, uh, you know. Of the, of the of the of the go into the ring, strong uh, takes advantage, goes for the end of heartache, and gets the win. Your winner and new NXT North American Champion Roderick Strong. Yes, finally that builds off of the Velveteen Dream. And now with Unspeed Era having um Roger Strong becoming the new North American Champion, you got a uh, Roger Strong new North American Champion. You got Kyle Riley and um Bobby Bobby Fish. NXT Technic Champions, and you got Alan Cole, baby, NXT Champion. Now, Unspeed Era has, uh, has now been draped in gold because their prophecy has been fulfilled. And that, my friends, is undisputed. Shock the system. Pew. Yes. So, yes. And that, was, and, that was, and that was the first hour of NXT, uh, NXT on the USA Network. Um, and now we're going to go into the WWE Network. But before we get to that, uh, during the, the, the whole thing with the commercials uh, on the US Network, I heard that there was a commercial ad about AEW. Yeah. <laughs> AEW was uh, up here uh, during the commercial slots uh, during WWE NXT last week. So yes, AEW. They're, they're they're on the array on firing, firing shots at WWE and everything, basically basically what pertains to NXT. So just want just want to mention that part. So I th I thought that was funny. Uh, I didn't see it. Uh, I heard, I just heard about it. But I, I thought that was hilarious though. That uh that uh, a, 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 an AEW ad where pertains to um where that TV shows coming up on TN TNT is that they did their commercial ads during an NXT show. So I thought that was funny. Um, oh yeah, so yeah, I guess I guess that was it, right? Oh yeah, so yeah, so that was the, um, the first hour for um for NXT on the USA Network. Talking about wrestling for for the um for the first hour of the NXT on the USA Network was three matches, and now we're gonna move on to the second hour of WWE NXT on. The WWE Network. Now, folks, what pertains to WWE um, doing their NXT shows for the very first time on USA Network, um, I gotta say this. I thought that was a dumb move for doing the USA Network for the first hour and then doing the second hour on the WWE Network because I thought WWE um, NXT was going to be featured on USA Network uh, from now on. The way they did this, I thought that was a dumb move because, for one thing, um, the viewership for first of all for the for, uh, when they, when they did NXT um, on US Network, um, I was I was wondering what was going to be the viewership of it. I thought it was going to, it was going to, it, was, it wasn't going to lead uh, to a higher number. Basically, I thought it was going to be leaving out to uh, like like uh, last time they were on uh, USA, uh, you know, since um, back in 2017 when it was about eighty uh, about. 800,000, you know, numbers, if I can remember, of, of a of viewership during that time. Uh, just a, a test run when they first did that. And, uh, and, they, and they um barely and they barely advertised it too, by the way. But, then we get to the whole thing with, um you know, with this this week. I mean, I mean not this week. Uh, with this year, I meant to say, excuse me. Um, I was wondering how they was going to uh, get those numbers. And, and they did, have, um, you know, and they did uh, in a way advertise it too. Yeah, you because know, it was smart for them to do that too, because they're gonna be they're in competition with uh, AEW uh, once once the, um, AEW makes his um, makes their TV debut. <laughs> but um, the ratings, 
it got up to uh, one point something million views. I was shocked. I couldn't believe they got they got they got to a million a million views. So props to NXT for that. Um, unfortunately, they were. I think they would got. I think they would um got a little bit more. I'm not saying they they, they would got to 200. I mean, not, not 200. I, I'm not saying that um they they could have got they they could they, they could have got up to two point millions. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. I I still think they could they, they I still think they they was gonna be in in that um um in in that number of one point millions. Um, but I think they could have got more uh from from that from that one. Um, if they would stay on the W network, you know, based on what they did on the, I mean, on the, on the USA network, I meant to say, for for the whole, for the entire, for the out, for the tower, for the entire um out two hours, but instead they decided to on the move to the W network instead, and that's where the problem with, uh, started happening with the W the W network. Now I didn't watch it live at the time, but of what I heard, there was some technical difficulties, some issues with the W network where it wasn't working. And I feel bad for those people that was watching it on the W Network, especially for the uh, new viewers from USA Net from, from from watching on the USA Network channel, and they and they go to the W Network over and maybe they purchase it and all that. Maybe, maybe for the new one for the new subscribers and all that. Well, if I heard the new subscribers, uh, were having issues. Even to uh to subscribers like me, we're having, we're having issues like uh, the Lex Man, Jason Solomon from Simon and Sounds Off, a few others uh, had issues with it. Um, now. Uh, I don't know if maybe uh their um uh, whatever they're watching um trying trying to trying to watch NXT a crash whatever, but when I went to the W Network you know around about what nine thirty something like that, uh and I went to uh, watch one from the beginning, maybe because uh I didn't watch it live, but um but it was it was alright on my end, but but again uh that but that's 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 just me, um because I watch I didn't watch it live, um so. I can't really um, say uh, it worked. It was uh, you know it was working well on mine, and if I didn't watch it live, so maybe uh, this this coming week uh, I'll probably I'll probably see uh, if if that issue happens again. But but WWE did send an apology to uh, for those that uh, that uh, feel like that uh, they were they were um, uh, you know you know they were um, being scammed, whatever, and all that uh, in in a way. But or or maybe uh, uh, you know, and basically try to save face. You know they apologize and everything. Um, that that they couldn't watch it. You know. Cause it, it, it was it was getting upset. It, it was getting upset. It, it was getting uh, it was it was very uh frustrating for those people. Me, I don't, I don't care. Um, but here, but yeah, but but yeah. Um, the point is, folks, it was stupid for WWE to even have a one hour show on TV, and then the second hour, you know, and then the second hour is going to only feature on the, w, the WWE network. I thought that was a dumb move. And then after hearing hearing about this, yeah, that was a dumb move. They did that. Maybe. The one reason why they did that is because they're not uh, in competition with AEW yet. Maybe they wait until uh, to AEW airs on on October second, and then they could and then they could uh, fully do their two hour shows on the on the, on the USA Network. But I guess but I guess until then we gotta wait until uh, October second, where it pertains to NXT versus AEW on on that on that on Wednesday night, um, same time slot basically, eight, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Uh, for my for my for my, for my uh, Eastern time, um, we gotta wait and see now. Uh, if NXT is gonna be fully moved back, moving to an uh, to USA Network uh, on October, on October second, and and I guess for the time being, we we got we got endure uh, a one hour show on USA Network, and uh, and and then a second hour show for the WWE Network. So we'll see. <laughs> So the second hour opened up with Unspeed Error still continuing celebrating, you know, as they all dripped in gold as NXT uh, champions. You know, Adam Cole being the NXT champion, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish being the NXT Tag Team champions, and Roger Strong becoming the NXT North American champion. All dripped in gold, and that, my friends, is undisputed. Shock the system. Just saying. Pete Dunne versus Arturo Ruash. 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 Excuse me. Arturo Ruash. Uh, Arturo Ruash, I've seen him before, playing times on NXT, and I saw him on Evolve. I don't remember who he wrestled on, on Evolve, but but I remember him wrestling Matt Riddle. Um, 
remember who else he wrestled against. I think uh, a Damian Priest at one point. I can't remember if I, if I can remember, but but anyways, but he wrestled against Pete Dunne. And when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a good match. This is gonna be wrestling. This is gonna be MMA, and it was. It was <laughs> that was the type of match I love to see. In the end, it was Pete Dunne getting the win with the on uh, the you know, you know, snapping the fingers and 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 pulling more pressure to the fingers, and he gets a, a submission win. So they treat it like like it was a a a, 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 MMA, a, a MMA fight in, in in a wrestling match, and I loved it. <laughs> Great, great. Which was on the WWE, which was on the USA Network. It's on the WWE Network, you know, you know. Uh, we get a view package for the return of the Kai, which is gonna be coming back this coming week on NXT TV. Now I don't know if if she's gonna return on USA Network or on the WWE Network. But we'll find out this coming week. Uh, okay, and it's, it's why I'm, I'm I'm doing, uh, and it's not because of Sai Lee, but Sai Lee versus uh, Alia, being accompanied by Vanessa Bourne. Match was okay. Sai Lee, she did her best. But then she botched the uh, the jumping off of the tomaco. It was a bad landing in a way, with, uh, with a jockey to Alia. Yeah, this match. This was the only match I thought it, was, it, it fell flat, unfortunately. Sally, I was up. Uh, I could tell by her facial expression and her body language. She, yeah, she knew that she fucked up. Um, and maybe maybe um she would have worked better with someone else uh, other than Alia, who's garbage. But whatever. But Sally gets to win, which uh, hey, at least I can say Sally won. So hopefully Sally gets another another uh, a second chance here, uh, to, to wrestle someone else that's um that's better in the ring. I'm not, I'm not trying to say it's Alia's fault, but at the same time, Alia she she didn't she did not look good in this match either. I mean she looks good, you know, with looks and everything, but as a wrestler, garbage. I I rather see Brandy Rose wrestle. And I, and, I, and, I, and I hate Brandy Rose wrestling, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, I should know that. Only Norkins was warmed up from this match against the returning Leah Rush. And we'll, we'll, I'll get to more of that later. Uh, they, they hyped up on this match of Kushina going to be in action against this guy named Denzel. And, and bear with me here. I should, I should try to um, you know, say his name here. But he, he, he's going by the name of Denzel. Dijornet, Denzel Dijornet, and he came out. He basically looked like like a like he's um come, he came out from the nineties, looking looking all retro and everything. I, I thought it was cool though, and he was dancing and everything. Also, and we get uh Marcel Bardell. This is where it gets good. Fabian Eichner and Alexander Wolf of Imperium. They came out and they beat up on Denzel. This will try to fight them off a little bit, but no match. Also, in the NXT uh, United Kingdom champion, Walter comes out. And basically, they came out. Basically, I mean, Walter came out, I meant to say. And. Um, Carl from Nuts, by the way, for, for Walter. And basically, Walter comes from saying that they, they are Imperium. And this match is sacred, and they're here to restore honor of this of, of their sport. And and for, and for those who uh, who dare to disrespect, you know, come forward and you know and try and stop, you know, try to answer to Imperium. Kushida comes out and says that you know this is his time, and, and he says he wants Walter right now for on you know, for taking away his time. So Kushida goes on uh, on the attack onto uh, Alexander Wolf. Fights off Eric Eichner, fights off uh, Marcel Bardell. Walter gets a hand of of, of Kushida, who tried to manhandle him in the ring, in the ring and all that. But then Kushida fights back, uh, and Kushida basically, uh, you know, he had tells out there because at this point, uh, Imperium was going to uh, beat him up and everything. It was going to be a beatdown, but Kushida gets gets out, gets out of uh, harm's way, and that's going to be the um, I guess that's going to be um, the feud for NXT. Walter, along with Imperium. Going against Kushida 
So she needs is gonna need some backup if he's gonna uh yo try to uh yo to you know to win up on the on on, on Imperium. I think he will based on what happened later on to at, later on that night. I'll get to, I'll get some more that later. <laughs> All right, now we get to the no more contendership match for retains to who's gonna be up in line for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship against Drew Gulak, and the, and the participants were Only Larkins versus Only Only Larkin versus. Leo Rush. Now, here's the thing, folks. Only Lorcan lost a match against Twinies on on Two Five Live. Why is he getting this match? Shouldn't it be Tony Storm. I mean, not Tony Storm. I meant to say Tony Nice. Excuse me. I got that. I got that messed up again. Shouldn't shouldn't it be Tony Nice getting that shot since he beat Only Lorcan. I'm just saying, and especially against a Leo Rush, who's um based on based on what I saw here, he he turned into a baby face here. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't do any um, heel tactics here. Leo Rush was being treated here like a babyface here. And he even got a, a welcome back champ from the crowds here at, at Full Sail. So he's, yeah, he's now he's a babyface. <laughs> and based on this match too, this was a good match too. Um, between Ori Norkin and, and Leo Rush. It was great seeing Leo Rush back in the ring, folks. After that whole thing that, that happened with, with, with him on the main roster. You know, the whole is, issues of him backstage and everything. You know, besides that, man... Uh, whatever, uh, whatever, whatever the reason is, there was, there was no excuse for why he shouldn't be on TV. There should be no excuse why he shouldn't be wrestling on NXT TV as well. Um, and and this is his his, his, his comeback here, and and, and, it's, and it's good to see him back on uh, in the ring again. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, Leo Rush was kick killing it. Only Lorcan was killing it. In the end, Leo Rush gets the victory over Only Lorcan with the um the the final hour, which is the frog splash. And gets the win. And he's now the new number one contender against Drew Gulak for the Cruiserweight Championship. <laughs> and yeah, and also Lee Rush was selling a knee, a knee injury here. He was selling, he was selling a knee injury, but he did he did, he did again, a damn good job of it as well. Now it's not yet to say when he's going to get the towel shot. You know, pertains to uh, Drew Gulak defending against Leo Rush, but we'll get we'll get we'll get that answer pretty soon. <laughs> Now for the street fight, which is the main event between Matt Riddle versus Killian Dane. This match begin with Killian Dane going right after Matt Riddle. Uh, Matt Riddle fights back. They start fighting uh, uh, outside the ring. Uh, we had a candlestick involved at one point. They start fighting to the crowd. Also, they go backstage. We see um, the Forgotten, the forgotten Sons uh, watch, watching on. Uh, also, they, got, they, go outside. they go outside. We see um, Walter. Uh, sitting um at, uh, at a table with a, a couple of uh, guys backstage that were in, in suits, and they all, and they all walked away because uh the fight the fight was go, uh, was going right, right near right near them. Uh, also um uh, once the fight got near them, also Walter starts choking on uh, Matt Riddle, and they'll be and they see the rest of, of Imperium come in to beat up on Matt Riddle. All of a sudden, the Street Profits comes out uh, out of nowhere and start getting into the brawl to help out uh, uh Matt Riddle, and then and the Forgotten Sons gets into the fight. And then, and then we get the entire rosters, you know, not, uh, I'm trying to remember um, exact, exactly, I'll, I'll tell you uh, who, I, who I saw, I saw Pete Dunne, I saw, I, I think I, I think I saw Sean Mal Maluna, the, you know, the same Sean Maluna who, who lost to, uh, uh, you know, Cameron Grimes uh, in seconds, um, I'm trying to remember who else I saw backstage. Kushida should have been involved in that. I, I don't I don't remember seeing Kushida in there, but he should have been in that brawl, you know. But um, I'm trying to remember who else was there, and that, that was in, in, in the middle of this fight and all that. It was great though, folks. It was it was amazing. I think I saw Orin Lorkins, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could have sworn I saw Orin Lorkins in there too. Oh, Danny Birch, Danny Birch was in there. Um. I guess Denzel, the 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 you know the one who got beat up by Imperium. I think he was in there too. I, I could be wrong, but uh, but I I can't remember um because there's a lot there's a lot of new faces there's a lot, a lot of new faces too. I haven't I haven't seen on NXT yet, and they were all part of this brawl. As Dane and you know as Killian Dane and Matt Riddle is continuing fighting, they they continue back uh, into and fighting in full sail in, you know into the crowd, and we see I think we see all uh, the more uh, of this fight continue on in you know. With all, with all the all the rosters of NXT uh, involved, we get Shakur, Shakur's coming out, we get referees coming out. It was it was just nothing but chaos going on here, folks. 
Not, nothing but chaos going on on here. So the match was thrown out, was thrown out because of that. Um, and then and then it ends with, with um Kenny and Dane doing a dive onto everyone on the outside, and there's a couple more people are fighting on from the other side of the ring, you know that. But uh, but um, but for those that are part of the pile, was um, I think it was like it was like Imperium, Matt Riddle, um, Danny Birch. Just, just um, for those I, I can try to remember, you know, remember. But yeah, but the, um, it, it ended with Kenny and Dane with a, a, a suicide dive, and then cross the train, holy shit! And then the show, and, the, and then we see Pete, Dunne, Pete Dunne fighting someone. I don't remember who he fought, but it was it was, it was being, like, being a pull part in a way, and that was it. The show was over. So yeah, folks, I, this is why WWE made, made that big mistake there. If the WWE wanted uh, to uh, to send out a message, uh, you know, to AEW. And they want uh, to just uh, to um, to showcase uh, what NXT is all about. It should have been NXT on the U USA Network for the entire two hours, instead of you know one hour on USA Network and then the second hour, which being on the WWE Network. And on top of that, with the whole team WWE Network um, being you know having a, a crash issue and all that. <laughs> That's why they should have it on USA Network instead of just doing doing the um half. Half half ass on USA Network and then WWE Network. I would have booked this on the two hours of uh, you know NXT on USA Network. But what they did there, that should have been on the USA Network. You could you could have show, show, shown off on Raw and SmackDown, where NXT was the better shows of both Raw and SmackDown on that week. But they didn't do it because. Uh, again, I don't know what was the reason why they did what they did. Maybe, maybe Triple H, you know, Triple H was like, I try my best, uh, like he always does, you know. You know, with, with, with she and Punk, Daniel Bryan, uh, Nakamura, Asuka, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I try my best, uh, even though I really don't try my best, uh, whatever. But anyways, but besides that, I thought it was a good show, though, folks. I thought WWE uh, NXT did a great job last week, obviously, and I apologize for not doing the, the review that last week. Um, um, I just, you know, just I apologize for that. But, but there you go, folks. That was your second hour of NXT on the on the WWE Network, though. <laughs> but Tony, I'm resting for um for the uh, for the second hour uh, on the on, on the WWE Network for the WWE NXT. Uh, four matches, and unfortunately, one and one. Uh, it it wouldn't. It would It would five if it wasn't for Imperium. You know, uh, ru ruining that match. That that, that never um, got on the way, anyways. <laughs> but the combined uh, overall um, total matches for WWE uh, NXT from September eight, um, 18th, 2019. Especially with with that eight second match with Cameron Grimes defeating Sean Manuna. that's a total of of seven matches. Yeah, seven matches um, that happened on WWE NXT, and that's saying much too, folks, because there's never been seven matches, or let alone we we could have gotten eight, but because you know the whole Imperium uh, invasion, yeah, that's why we couldn't get eight um eight matches on on there, but. But yo, imagine we clearly got eight matches. Um, but it, but whatever. But yeah, uh, it was eight matches total. I mean, seven match total match uh, of uh, NXT. And my overall strength for the show, I thought NXT did a great job, despite you know the whole thing with uh, US and Network on the first hour, and then the W Network for the second hour, <laughs> and and then the whole issues with the W Network and all that. Despite all that. I, I I enjoyed the show for for what it was, um, so the reason I say that is because folks, um, what pertains to uh, me watching NXT, I didn't watch it live. I, I try, I you know, what pertains to the USA Network, I try to watch it live, but um, I I couldn't unfortunately. So like you know what, uh, whatever. Uh, I I I didn't want to get too upset with that. I, I didn't want to try uh you know, uh, to struggle to uh, watch it. So like, you know what, uh, I I watch it. I watch it. Um. Uh, later on, and I did, and I watched it later on on the Dominic Network as well. So after I finished watching on, uh, you know, on the on the download 
uh, on the first hour of, of uh, NXT, and then I watch it on the W Network on, on what we're saying, the second hour, which was on demand. So yeah, I was I was good either way. So so my overall strength for the show, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten show, amazing, amazing. But that being said, thank you all for watching. For it's the natural born driller saying peace on the streets. For this was your WWE NXT review. Until next time, we'll return to the WWE NXT review for this coming week, and then for next week's NXT review, um, yeah, I'm out.